All right, Phase Six. What's going on? It's your boy Rhys. Welcome back again to another episode, okay, of Darwin's Game, Episode Five. If you're listening to this on the podcast, shouts to you. I appreciate you. And if you're watching this video, I appreciate you also, okay. Um, episode Five out of the eleven episodes, which is quite sad because this um series is actually quite catchy and is actually quite interesting. And we finally got to meet the team, which seems to be forming together now now in this episode right Kanami is needed because the queen who uses the um spikes for like her as her sigil has been trapped by a user who's able to control water and in the case of controlling water i believe he's also able to control like somewhat the elements because he's able to freeze the the water as well as like make it into a liquid this was shown in this episode whilst she was fighting in the subway and while she, she okay so this is the person and in the beginning of um the intro you see her followed by this guy on the left and kanami and the girl as well as the girl who has the most information on the phone but going back to what i was talking about between the fighting which was going on between the girl and this um girl who can control water so she's trapped underneath water but this is because she attempted to fight a user who was able to control water and this is like the beginning shot of it right so she's thinking that there could be some rings and she decides to keep on investigating and when she felt when she felt like someone was about to attack her um through instinct or like through you know third eye or whatever she was quite wary do you know what i mean but then goes the attack from the user and you know their plan was to suffocate her which is what they did for some reason the little girl has got some form of like evil side to her i'm not sure if maybe it's because of the game that she's developed this kind of side to her or before she's entered the game she's kind of got this kind of like dark side to her because when they showed her later on in the episode when kanami was going towards the subway to go save the woman his queen she never had this kind of like portrayal about her she never had this kind of like look about her do you know what i mean like you can really tell like she has something really going on deep down within her i feel like in my opinion this is a split personality because someone don't just do this to someone knowing that this person is an a class rank do you know what i mean and you then just hold back from other enemies like kanami and his other teammate which is this guy on the left when you see them do you know what i mean so yeah shuka which is her name is asking for help and kanami and this fellow here go to investigate so they're gonna go and help her out by the way this man's sigil is that he's able to tell when someone's telling the truth or telling a lie which is very handy from his point of view because if kanami for example is going around screaming oh he wants peace oh he wants to know how to get out of the game oh this oh that you know it helps to have someone who can tell the difference between someone lying and telling the truth and understand where his you know his ideals and his goals are do you know what i mean so anyways from this position they've gone down to go help her and this girl is basically staying at the hotel guiding the rings with this fellow here and this is because they can't leave the rings unprotected you know what i mean it will just leave the base where they're at easy to infiltrate by the enemy who they are trying to avoid and who they don't want to get the rings because if they don't get the rings at the end of the game then they're dead that's just the reality of it this episode was a episode filled with teamwork which is what i really did appreciate and i finally did get to see this guy work with kanami like even if it was just a short moment like of this episode i was glad to see that because it was nice to see that we're being introduced to him shuka the girl that i recently just literally spoke of a second ago who's staying at the house i mean sorry the hotel where is the base of the rings and the water girl we actually got introduced to them so i feel like towards episode 11 it's going to be a big fight and it's going to be a big standoff but at the end of the day this episode this series finishes on episode 11 and i'm quite upset at that because if this series only has 11 episodes does that mean that they're going to reach the climax very easily and very fast like i hope that's not the case it will be very upsetting if they do because darwin's game for a new winter anime anime series that i actually started with only 11 with only 11 episodes for the series is actually quite interesting i would wish for them to make season two just because i would like to understand more of the anime more of the season more of the dynamics between everyone else and how they actually get out of the game if they don't finish it within the season and i just hope 
that everything does turn out okay towards the end of this episode or the series you know what i mean like everyone comes together everyone finds a way to carry on playing the game so that we can get season two or they come to a decent conclusion this girl over here this is the same girl who's able to control the water and turn it into ice and as you can see she looks very different do you know what i mean like she's even apparently younger than rain which is the girl with the which is the girl with the sniper who's also protecting the rings at the base that is her name ring and you know the fact that she's got this kind of like innocent look compared to what she was before that's what made me feel like is a split personality because this is nuts you don't just go from looking like this to looking like how you did back then when you was fighting an a ranker who's known as one of the the strongest do you know what i mean and you beat her do you get what i'm saying so it just goes to show the hidden potential of this girl like she knows what she's doing she's smart she, like she's definitely not younger than rain she can't be she must be of the same age like you don't plan to trap an a rank um sigil user who's been in the game for a while in the subway and planned it all out so smartly nah man you can't be unless you're just a prodigy but anyways enough of me rambling on it's been your boy Roos. i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you're listening to this on the podcast i advise you to guys um go watch it on the channel you know what i mean obviously you guys can still understand what i'm talking about but i feel like it just helps more because i'm going to take this audio from this video and put it into the podcast so yeah it's been your boy Roos. i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode last but not least um to wrap it up towards the end user this the, this guy here with the gun able to tell the difference between someone lying or not finds out that the girl who is able to control the water is like has lied to him do you know what i mean but the situation has changed because um kaname has gone within the enemy's territory which is subway which is filled with um water and knowing that is a sig sigil attack he's still gone ahead and gone to save um shuka so um now that that's that's happened the sorry the guy who is able to control oh sorry the guy who's able to know whether someone's lying to him or not basically threatens to shoot a girl who's able to control the water and knowing that she's in a situation where she can't get out of she decides to reveal her power to him and scurries off now she's got information on what has happened between the fight between the a ranker and um herself and so the guy wants to find out what has happened and now he's on pursuit of the girl so yeah that's what's happening in today's episode episode 5 of darwin's game was lit i enjoyed it make sure to go watch it it's been your boy roos i'm out peace